<laughs> That's so badass, dude. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We're down here in Long Beach today with our new friend Lloyd and his, it's a 61, right? 1961 Chevrolet Impala convertible. So originally this car came out in the video with Tupac, Live and Die in LA, and Miss Phyllis and her husband owned it at the time. And I ended up getting it out of Santa Maria from a guy named Carlos. I bought it in January of this year, right before COVID. And I've just been tearing through it ever since, trying to get it done. It's been a bit of a battle. When I got it, all the planetary gears in the transmission were frozen. I ended up switching the transmission. It's actually got a 283. Okay. It's the original engine that was in here. We just took it out, put new timing belt, new valve cover gaskets, upper intake. I took it over to Kool-Aid's Hydraulics and had it cut and I added eight batteries, two pumps, and I got the best of everything. Adex, Mersachi gears, and uh, Long the hydraulics were doing good. I was like, I'll eventually get the engine going well. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, it's going. I mean, it, it starts up and it drives around. It's just not exactly to the comfort level that I want. I want to be able right. to drive it to Vegas if I feel like it. Really? You'll drive this on the freeway? I, I don't mind at all, yeah. All really? The time. I still, even, even as it is, I drive it on the freeway. Yeah, no Hardcore, problem. Hardcore, dude. Yeah, Part of why I say that is because I've driven two lowriders in my entire life and both of them scared me above 40 miles an hour. You get used With to it. With the little 13s and the hydraulics oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you know? no, it's a little heavy when you stop sometimes it skids a little bit you know but uh, <laughs> you just get used to it they all have you know a certain ride height where they ride best and ev yeah. every car is different so you just get to get used to them and risk it yeah yeah exactly risk it when you're up real high it it's weird puts off your center of balance yeah, you're, yeah. They, they call it skating and yeah it will it definitely does it slides around yeah and i like yeah. the 13s dayton's are probably my uh favorite wheel of all my son's name's actually dayton rider so I'm oh really and yeah right and on the, the best you can get is all gold daytons and these are uh old 90 style i had to have them was was all the suspension that we see now was that is that how it was when you got the car or did you have to go through that stuff too? no i had to go through all that actually when uh, i took it over to kool-aids we redid the entire suspension the uppers and the lowers uh, all the control arms and everything under there. I got the matching bushings. It was uh -huh. just a plain, plain Jane stock car. Yeah. It, the video, they just put some sandbags in the back and lowered it and made oh, it look really? like it was uh, a little bit of a low rider. But uh, no, all the reinforcement I've added, you know, uh -huh. all the chrome you see, the rims and stuff, that was uh -huh. all me. To me, I, I like the originality of it. You know, I was kind of torn whether I should do my thing to it, but uh, I'm glad I did. Yeah. I mean, it's still the same car. It's just better now to me. Yeah. You know? I mean, driving it around was fun, but driving around and hitting switches is way better. <laughs> I love it. I added the matching yellow top. I got that uh, from Cena Della and uh, the guy Cheeto, came, I flew him in. He came and installed it. And that, I feel like to me, that's what really set the car off. It's, it's a convertible, but I like to drive with the top up just because the way it looks together. It look, when we pulled up here, man, and seeing the yellow top up, it, it, looks, it looks cool. It I looks really that. good. Especially with all the gold accents. I mean, that's, that's a great style to this thing. It, it seems like it's pretty personal to you. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I mean, it's a process. I'm already in this car about $110,000, so. Really? Yeah, I'm taking my time. Yeah, it got real deep real fast. Yeah. It definitely did. I have the all gold steering wheel. I was the first one to ever do the complete gold steering wheel. Wow, that's so clean, man. Thanks, bud. I love it. I love the lighting that you've done in here as well. I went with the Laker style. I want it all purple in the day with the yellow. It gives it magenta, but at night you can see the purple. Super purple, huh? I went with Centennial batteries. Those are those are probably my favorite. That's kind of a battle between the gel batteries and the Centennials, but uh, yeah. I, I have better luck with these. I actually like them. I just did the two pump setup. That's an ADEX dump for the front, so it's good for hopping. And then inside the pump, I got the Mersachi 13 gear, which is my absolute favorite. 
And that gear that I have in this car is the same gear that I've had in my last four. Really? When I sell a car, I, the one thing I take is my gear out. It's just personal attachment to this one. Yeah. I'm bored with the car if it doesn't do anything. Really? Lay and play doesn't do anything for me. I mean, that's the same as bags. You might as well have right, bags for if you sure. lay and play. Right, for sure. I agree. I, I, you know? I get it, yep. Everyone says I'm crazy for even hopping it in the first place, but I don't go to like hop competitions and hop it, you know? Yeah. I just, when I pull into a car show, I give it a couple licks, let everyone know she can work, and yeah. that's it, you know? I, yeah. I don't try to tear it up, but you know, I will get busy in the streets if we have to. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I gotta be honest, dude. I'm looking forward to going for a ride because I've never, I've, like I told you, I've driven two low riders. I, I don't know if they hop or not. I, I would never even try it because oh, well, it's not my world. You we'll know give what I mean? So I'm legs. curious. Does your head bash the roof? It's, it's convertible. We just fly. Out <laughs> out of the seat. I, I, I have a video on my uh, Instagram. It's Long Beach Lloyd, and it's my sister-in-law. I was hopping all the kids on my daughter's birthday, and I hopped her so high she like almost flew out of the Come car. Come on, man! I swear to God, <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, it's fun. My kids love it. My, my, I think my son's more into low riding than I am. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Let's look at your interior. I'm curious oh, okay. what you got yeah, going over absolutely. here. Absolutely. You want me to drop the top? Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, let's take That'd it down. That'd be cool. Oh, there's Tupac now with the Hennessy. Drunk in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I kept the original interior from the Live and Die in LA video because I. I thought the history would be cool. For sure. Uh, and it looks good, yeah. though, dude. And that it looked color great. looks great against the yellow. I added the gold handles, uh, gold steering wheel, the center console with the uh, purple lights. I love these uh, Impala branded logo floor mats. I mm -hmm. put them in all my cars. It gives like a little sharp look, plus saves yeah. the carpet a bit. I mean, all, all the gold you see, but that's it. Yeah. I left it. I wanted to keep it true to the live and die in LA. That's the that's all the hydraulic switches, right? Yeah. The levers there. Yeah. What are those switches over here? Oh, these are just to the LEDs for the interior and, oh, the, got and it. the antenna tips. Right on. Okay. Well, cool, dude. Let's let's uh, you know, if you're in, let's fire it up and let's go for a little putt and watch. Hell yeah, let's watch do me it. laugh my ass off like a little kid as you hit switches. Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's so badass, dude. <laughs> she takes off too. That Man. Thir that 13 gear ain't no joke. So that so that makes the hydraulic pop harder? Is that what it does? Uh, it, it's, a, it's a more compressive gear. Usually, uh, it, yeah, it makes it hit a lot harder. Yeah. A lot, it's a, there's a big battle with everybody in low riding between the 11 and the 13. So the 13 gives you more off the first couple, but then it evens out. But the 11 continues to keep building pressure. Some people even like the nine, but uh, most of the guys I, I hang out with were 13 or 11 type. Yeah. And, and it's Versace only. We're not trying to have any other gear. If it's not Versace, we don't want it unless yeah. we have to use it to get home, you know? Yeah. We took off on that one. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> It actually doesn't seem like it drives bad though. Like, I mean, you're cruising. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll take that back. <laughs> it pulls. <laughs> I'm used to it. Like I said, you learn every car. I, I yeah. still need to align this one and I hop it a little bit, so I'm sure it's pretty good out of alignment, but you know. The hopping's got to tweak the alignment, it, it, it right? Does. It does a little bit. Yes, it does. Yeah. Definitely made me smile, I'll tell you that much. Never dude. seen anybody frown in a low rider. You can't, right? Yeah, break up with your girlfriend, come for a ride with me, you'll be fine. <laughs> and do you have a you're part of a car club, right? I am. I started a car club here in Long Beach and uh, it's called Plata o Plomo, which means silver or lead. And you started it? I did. How I many did. how many are there of you guys? There there is uh, close to thirty of us now. Wow, dude. I uh so anyways, I started thinking about about 2016 because I saw a lot of different car clubs, but some of them had rules, so I just never joined any car club. And I started my own, and uh, we have rules, but they're, they're lax. If, if you can't make it, you're not gonna get fined. If you didn't get a chance to clean your car, it's not an issue, right. you know? We're busy. I mean, yeah. if you're not staying busy, you're not doing anything, and I just didn't want to have that. So I started the car club with a couple guys, uh, one guy named Mario Ramirez and another guy, uh, everybody knows him on the streets as Gibby. 
and uh, that we were the first three, and it's built from there. And uh, we pick up new members every, you know, when we meet somebody we like every few months. You know, we pick up a couple new members, and it's just growing and growing and growing. Yeah. We constantly stay active. We're always doing something, music videos, commercials, this type of stuff. I mean, right. we like riding. Let's do that Queen Latifah drop on them. <laughs> I like that drop. We just drop them all the way. <laughs> So cool, man. Take you a while to get used to all the um, different directions they go? Yeah, uh, nah, because nah. I already had the land play, so I had that down. The hard part for me was learning to actually hop it. I mean, it's basically the best advice I can give you to teach you to learn to hop is dribble a basketball and then yeah. turn your hand sideways like you're doing a handshake, because that's the motion of you hopping. That's so badass, dude. Thanks, man. Right, let's see about three wheeling. I need some room to swing. Hang on. We're fine. We're fine. We're skating. Whoa! Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna re three wheel. That wasn't good enough. No. Nah, we didn't have enough room. <laughs> Dude, I can't even see what's going on over there, man. <laughs> That's so badass, dude. I love it, man. I'm like a four-year-old right now, I swear. Your kids just got a trip on it. <laughs> oh, they love it. I bounce them all the way out of the seat so high I can dribble them. <laughs> That's on the ground right there, isn't it? It's, laying it's the laid out. Oh, yeah. Sitting on my chrome trunk, man. <laughs> That's my favorite part about it. That's why I wanted to cut it so you can see the 61 booty with that V. Yeah. To me, Impalas are like a lady. That's why I like them because the curves on them and the lines, that's what makes them so sexy. Like, look at the hood. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like cruising down the street at night, your paint shining, all the lights are hitting off of it. You see it all down the lines, yeah. system bumping. The shit feels amazing. Yeah. There's nothing I can even think that compares to it. Yeah. Car wise, I mean, maybe donuts to the fast guys, you know, burning out. For maybe sure. Maybe a similar feeling, but to me, that's where it's at. We'll They're give, all loving we'll, we'll taking we'll a break we'll from get, work. We'll give him a couple of licks. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. All right, you guys, that's it for our shoot with Long Beach Lloyd and his really badass Impala, man. Just cool guy, stoked we got to do this today. Any of you that watch the channel, you know I'm not a lowrider guy. It's not my world that I live in, but just very cool to get to shoot this one, man. It's got great history to it. That yellow just pops, and it's the first time I've ever gotten bounced around in a lowrider, and that was just cool as hell. So. As always, you guys, a big thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.